when we first ran our campaign in 2013, some folks said that I shouldn't run because I was too short. <laughs> because I was not from a family of leaders. And because I was too young. You know what? They're right. I am short. Uh, I am from an average family. And sure, I am still young. <laughs> but Marvin uh, ruined it when he said the 40 under 40, right? So. <laughs> uh, but I... But I read anyway, because I'm just like you. Some folks have said to you, you won't succeed in your business. You shouldn't get into politics because you're a woman. You're not educated enough, and the list goes on. Like me, you didn't listen to, to those negative because you are a fighter. Whether you live or work in Ward 1, Ward 1 is a community full of fighters, fighting for our dreams, fighting for each other, and fighting for opportunity for the least among our neighbors. I promise you in 2013 that it'd be like this. As your city council person representative, I would fight for racial equity, affordable housing, and economic development. I would treat your children and your elders like they are my own. I would drive hard bargain in City Hall to ensure that Ward 1 would get the resources and delivery of services that we deserve. My friends, here are some of the accomplishments that we have achieved together the last 13 months. We secured financing for three big housing projects, for affordable housing projects in Ward 1. The Brownstone site, the Jamestown, Malcolm Shabazz apartment, the Western U. We were able to we have dozens of homes through the Inspiring Community Program, and we sold them to low-income families, and most of them are communities of color. We were able to secure $1.2 million dollars to replace the deteriorating police truck, a fire truck. We were able to secure $42.5 million for economic development throughout the entire city and to do infrastructure repair on our streets and our arterial road. We were able to pass the responsible banking ordinance to ensure that banks, when banks do business in St. Paul, they are held accountable for providing equitable services to our elders, our women, people of color, and the underbank, and the disabled. We were able to fight for 5,000 vouchers for low-income kids to use our uh, water parks and city pool. We were able to secure site and resources for the Rondo Museum. We were able to have lighting installed on the Oxford Field. We were able to prevent tobacco company from targeting our youth. With And now that ordinance is being modeled in other cities throughout the United States. We were able to pass the paid parental leave that would provide four weeks of paid salary to a birdie employee, mother, and two weeks salary of non birdie parents or adoptee employee. We were able to secure $1 million for the St. Paul Library Collection and $400,000 to extend library hours in St. Paul. Not only that, we were able to secure $10 million for the Skyline Tower to make sure that our Somali and Oromo brothers and sisters have a decent place to live. And $1.5 million to secure green space so that their children have a place to play outside. We got $200,000 to construct a public parking lot outside the Oromo Community Center and we got $300,000 for the Mongolian partnership in Little Mekong District so that they can start developing that area for the night market. <laughs> when I ran in 2013, I asked you to judge me, not by my words, but by my deeds. As you can see, my history at the City Hall has shown that I love all community the same. I understand, because even though we come from different history, we share a common destiny, that our lives are interconnected, that in order for my children and my elders to have a good life, I have to make sure that you and your family have a good life first. My politics is not politics of one single community, but a politics of one for all and all for one. My politics is not divide and conquer, but a hard work and inclusion of respect and dignity. 
I'm proud to be endorsed by laborers and firemen, by Congressman Keith Allison, by Mayor Chris Coleman, and countless elected leaders and community members. I hope my dedication to you have earned your support. You may already know this, but I have three very strong opponents, two Somali Americans and one African American. I accept their challenge, and I'm excited to debate them about the direction of our war and the vision of our city. But if you want me to continue serving you, and working hard for you, and leveraging every available tool at City Hall for you, then you must join our campaign. Please support us for your time and your money. Mm -hmm. I promise you I'll work hard to win this re-election because there is so much work left to do. We must make sure that the city of St. Paul is the most livable city for everyone, not just the wealthy. Our seniors have housing. We've got to make sure that all small businesses reap the reward of a booming Minnesota economy. We've got to make sure that our children have a quality education. And we've got to make sure that our communities are safe to live, to work, and to play. And I can't do this without you. So are you with me? Yes! yes. Are you with me? Yes! Are you with me? Yes! Thank you so much. Now, I want to just quickly, um, every time when I ask for your money, I always have a plan of why I'm asking. And so, the money is in good, for good use. And our, our timeline is that next weekend we have the ward convention at Central High. So if you're available, please come and volunteer. We need translator, we need folks to provide rides. Um, we need folks to work the floor, and then after that, we'll do a, a mailing, um, and then we are excited to do the Rondo Parade. Uh, we will be at the J4. Uh, we will also be at the Rice Street Parade. Uh, we will be sending out literature to 5,000 voters, um, and then uh, from, here, from then, we, st we still have to do another mailing. Um, then we do our third mailing in different languages, Hmong, English, Somali, Oromo. And then in the fall, we're, ha we're doing a very uh, intense and focused door knock and phone bank, and then GOTV weekend. And so all of the, the money that you, you give to us uh, is, is not to the campaign, but it's to give it, be given back to do the work of the community. Um, our community, uh, we need the sort of leadership that will drive hard for everybody, will make sure that everybody has a voice in City Hall. And so, uh, please, if you already give, thank you so much. Um, if you want to give again, we really appreciate that. And it goes a long way. And so, thank you so much.